wanted to uh, shoot a quick video about ringneck dove bats. And uh, this here is a, a white ringneck dove, and you might ask, you know, why they call them ringneck doves, but uh, the regular color face of the ringneck dove is gray. They almost look like a morning dove. They have like, a little black ring around their neck, hence the name. And uh, ringneck doves, they live to be, you know, on average about 10, 12 years. Um, you know, I think the record right now is about 23 years. So they are long-lived. Uh, extremely gentle. They're a domesticated bird, so you're not going to find wild populations of, the, of these type of birds unless they're released by people. Uh, they've been around humans for around 3,000 years, they say, and uh, they're they're extremely uh, pro pro prolific and they mate for life. The two uh, the parents and they they share the duties of sitting on the eggs and rearing the young. And uh, ringneck doves. You know, they're really easy to feed. They are, they're, they're a soft bill bird. Uh, they're not like a parakeet. So they can't haul uh, and break like sunflower seeds and hard shells. So you gotta feed them like small millet. And uh, this little guy here, he's six months old. And as you can see, he's just loves people, real calm. Um, you know, unlike you know, members of like the parrot family that can be a little bit nervous and high energy. You're not going to find that with a dog. They don't bite. They just relax and love people. And uh, with doves, as far as the breeding, uh, I did mention that the parents do share the responsibility. Uh, incubation time is always just two eggs are laid. Incubation time is 14 days, uh, beginning uh, after the second egg is laid. And uh, yeah, they just keep breeding and breeding. And you know, I keep mine. As you can see, there's a, there's a this here is the offspring of a mother and father up top here. And, uh, but uh, yeah, I, just, I keep these guys outside six to seven months out of the year. I live in Minnesota, so obviously right now it's 15 below. So they're they're in the basement right now. But uh, uh, some other facts, you know, I I do, I did make a kind of a custom cage here. Otherwise you could use, you know, essentially like a cockatiel cage. But uh, excellent first, uh, first birds for a young kid or a, a person just wants to get a bird for companionship. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Have a great evening.